Hey everybody, it's Greg from Vans Aircraft here to talk to you really quick about something we have that's available now that's kind of neat and new. Uh, this is the uh, section OP63 remote canopy release. Uh, this is, uh, allows you to relocate the canopy release pull handle for uh, an emergency jettison of the canopy on the RV-14 uh, from the center of the instrument panel down to the center console lower uh, in the aircraft, and we'll go over some details about that. This is section OP63, is the, the, the name of the plans. Uh, the kit itself is called the 14 Remote Canopy Release. So if you're looking for a part number, the part number is 14 Remote Canopy Release. So whenever you see OP uh, at the, as the, in the title of one of our kit assembly instructions, what that means is that it's optional, it's not required. So it's an option, in this case, for the RV-14, which you can see see right here, so the 14 or the 14A, and allows installation. Uh, so normally the canopy emergency jettison handle, or remote canopy release handle, would be located in the very top portion of the instrument panel uh, in the aircraft, right in the center. Some people uh, want to be able to have a taller radio stack than that allows. They want to be able to maximize the use of that area. So what this kit allows you to do is it allows you to relocate the handle, the pull handle here, from that top center section down to the center console of the aircraft in two different ways. And this is the first way. Uh, you can install it so that it's in a recessed section just forward of the fuel selector valve. And you can do that in the case when you do not have a fuse panel, the angled fuse panel, that's an option that can go here uh, in this center console area. And actually we have a drawing of the other option here, which is if you do have that fuse panel here, then you have the option to have the T-handle uh, on a accompanying uh, piece of uh, bench sheet metal uh, that allows it to mount, again, just, just forward of the fuel selector valve. As far as the components of the kit, of course, the, the original uh, cable is not long enough to uh, if it's really quite short, the original handle. Uh, so now we have a long cable, uh, and this is, allows you to... Uh, to, to run from the, the release mechanism, which is located up in the front uh, of uh, forward of the instrument panel behind the firewall. This cable allows you to run it to either of those locations. And then all of the metal components that are necessary. So here we have the, uh, the option if you're going to be uh, not with a fuse panel for recessed in the center console or the option where you would actually uh, put it just below the fuse panel on the center console. We have a metal tool for doing the proper cutting and drilling of holes, and then, uh, of course, the rivets that are necessary to install it. Hopefully that is something that excites you or something that you find interesting. If you're looking to add, say, a GTN 750 and an autopilot panel and an uh, audio panel, or Lord knows what else you want to put in there, uh, but things that really where you need to maximize the space available to you uh, in the center section of the instrument panel, great option to be able to take that jettison, canopy jettison emergency handle uh, and relocate it in one of those two options down in the center console. So we hope you find that useful. Uh, it is available to order. Again, the part number is 14 Remote Canopy Release. Uh, we have uh, assembled uh, quite a few of those kits and we have parts coming in to make more. They're a little bit slow coming in, uh, but you know you can, you can always check the stock status by looking it up on the store and what have you. So we hope that you find that useful. We hope you enjoy continuing to build your RV-14 or 14A, and we look forward to hearing about your first flight.